My workplace has a mosque nearby, but my employees don't allow me to attend congregational prayers. What would you advise? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, lahu alhamdul hasan wa thana wa jameel, wa ashadu an la ilahi la Allah wahdahu la sharika lah, yaqulu alhaqqa wa huwa yahdi sabiil, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa tabi'ina lahum bihsanin ila yawmi ad-deena ma ba'd. In response to your question, I want to say that your provision and your rizq is something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written uh, for you, and it's not something that's going to miss you. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us in the hadith Abu Nu'aym, uh, narrated in his kitab, Hilyatul Awliya wa Tabaqatul Asfiyya min hadith Abi Sheikh Muhammad Nasir al-Din al-Albani authenticated in his Sahih al-Jami'ah. The Prophet said, "Inna ruh al-Qudusi nafatha fi ruhi." That the uh, Archangel Jibril he blew uh, into my soul, and the nafs al-lan tamuta hatta tastakmil ajalah. That the person, no individual on this earth, will pass away or die hatta tastakmil ajalah until the person has finished the lifespan that was set for them. What is to ibar is qaha, and that the person uh, completes the provision that was written for them. So you're not going to get. Uh, a rizq that's not written for you nor are you going to miss a rizq that was written for you so the prophet said فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَجْمِلُوا فِي الطَّلَبِ since the rizq is written for you then fear Allah تبارك وتعالى in the way that you look for it وَلَا يَحْمِلَنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ إِسْتِبْطَاءُ الرِّزْقِ أَنْ يَطْلُبَهُ بِمَعْصِيَةٍ So just because the rizq that was written for you is delaying and it's not the time for you yet, don't look for it in a haram way. Look for it in a permissible way. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى لَا يُنَالُوا مَا عِنْدَهُ إِلَّا بِطَاعَتِهِ Because you can't attain what is with Allah تبارك وتعالى except in obeying Him. So the reason I mention this narration is because if you're working at somewhere and then in the process you're disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you're looking for your rizq in that which is not permissible. And if you leave a job because it is not uh, uh, following the Islamic guidelines that inshallah ta'ala uh, you leave something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will give you better anyone who leaves something for the sake of Allah wa ta'ala Allah will exchange for you that which is better for you okay and the ayah of course says Man dhakarin, wa huwa tayyibah, wa now coming into to the topic at hand which is the uh, uh, congregational prayer it is obligatory for a man who hears the adhan or is close to the masjid to pray in the masjid. The Prophet والسلام, he said in a hadith, Man fala salata, fala salata lahu illa min Anyone who hears the adhan and doesn't go to the masjid and they don't have no excuse, okay, uh, then there's no salah for this person. Abdullah ibn Abbas was asked, what's the excuse? What's the udhr? What's the excuse that a person can have to not go to the congregation? Abdullah ibn Abbas, he said, khawf o marad. It's a fear. You're scared if you, you know, on the way, you're scared of something or you're sick or you're ill then there's an excuse for you other than that you have to go to the congregational prayer five minutes you would normally if it's a Muslim country you would from you would hear, hear the adhan it would reach you so you should go to the masjid okay also the Prophet والسلام, a blind man came to him a hadith you can find is a Muslim in hadith Abi Huraira a blind man came to the Prophet والسلام, he said Ya Rasulullah innahu laysa li qa'idun yaquduni ila masjid I'm a blind man I have nobody to take me to the masjid the Prophet والسلام, he said to him I went uh, to give me a ruksa. So he asked the Prophet alayhi salatu salam and you rakhi salahu. He said, Ya Rasulullah, give me a ruksa. Yani give me an excuse that I don't have to go to the masjid and I can pray in my house. So the Prophet alayhi salatu salam gave him a ruksa. So he said, okay, you go, no problem. Falamma walla, and the man stood up and was about to leave, da'ahu, the Prophet called him and he said to him, hal tasma'un nida'a? Do you hear the adhan? Hal tasma'un nida'a bis salati? Can you hear the adhan for the prayer? The man said, na'am, I do. And now this is a blind man. The Prophet then said to him, fa'ajib, obey the adhan. Yani go to the congregation. So the first time the Prophet gave him a ruqsa, yani, uh, an excuse, uh, but then the Prophet was sent a revelation on him and he was informed that if he can hear the adhan, he has to pray in the congregation. And the Sahabas, radiallahu ta'ala anhum, person who could pray in the masjid if he chose to pray at home, the Sahabas, they consider this hypocrisy, okay? And Abdullah ibn Masood, radiallahu ta'ala, Anhu, who is one of the senior companions, he said, The only person who would not come to the congregation and pray in the jama'ah was a person whose hypocrisy was well known. So if your workplace is not letting you do an obligation in Islam, you have to carry on doing the obligation, the wajib, okay? And you should not obey them. You should not obey the creation in that which brings uh, the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or that which causes you to do the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I hope that answers your question